Hey guys, welcome back, Bolt Spider here, and we're with another episode of How to Deck Build, and the decks are getting smaller, but let's see what we can get. Hopefully it's a deck that's very well meta, or something that's pretty interesting. Thunder Dragon. Oh. Oh. This is going to be an interesting one, because my friend has been testing out Thunder Dragons, and I can show off his build that I mentioned in the other video the other day about top meta decks. So, let's get right into it. So, Thunder Dragons are definitely a deck that's very interesting, to say the least. And, let's get right into it. So, Thunder Dragon is just a deck based around what is Thunder Dragon. So, we're definitely going to need three Thunder Dragon, one duo, then triple dark, one hawk, I mean, triple roar, double dark, double matrix, double titan, and double fusion. Now, that's pretty much the whole entire standard thing that we have. Afterwards, what we're going to do, there is a little assault mode engine that we can run, which is one assault beast, double reflector, or is assault beast, and we're going to be going and running one assault mode to activate. After that, let's get to our chaos stuff. So chaos, we're going to need one Levioneer. We're going to need one ruler because this card's absolutely busted in this deck. One cast Valkyrie. Then after, we're going to need a cast ruler of the Chaotic Magical Dragon. Because this card is going to be essential for the Psy Reflector combo. And just scrolling through all of this, I know that there's more that we can do because there's Chaos Base. And for... Emer... And for the Sight Reflector combo, we're going to need to Emergency tele Teleport. And a 1 for 1, because we also do have feasible targets, being the Sight Reflectors and the Matrix. After that, we are going to need other things like Black Dragon, Flap Serpent, and Wither Buster, because those two are amazing. After that, let's just fill up with hand traps like Ash Blossom, Diaphragm Gamma and Driver, because those are actually very good. Then afterwards, we're going to need something like Cross Out, Nibiru, and the one Imperm. Let me just double check everything to see if this is all right and ready to go. Double Gamma, for sure. Now for the extra deck, we just do standard things like Striker Dragon. Because it's, you kind of just need it. Heratic Seal. Because it's just an easy black-white dragon. It's just an easy Heratic Seal. We also have Halky along with Verte. Because Verte is just in everything now. One IP Masquerina. Very, very wonderful card. We have some Nightmares. Which is Phoenix and Unicorn. Appaloosa. Oral Sword Dragon. Which is very budget-friendly. If you don't have access code. And since we're running level 8s, we're going to be running a Dinkrisu and a Hope Heartbringer. Now there's one card that's left. He's running Shooting Star Dragon. But I don't see why. So I'm just going to run an Omega because Omega is very useful. And let's see what this deck can do. How to Thunder Dragons? Let's see. So first off, we open up Black Dragon, Thunder Dragon, and Chaos Valkyrie. We're going to Thunder Dragon, grabbing two other Thunder Dragons. Now, the reason why it's deck thins and we already activate our effect, we're going to discard a Thunder Dragon either for a Chaos Creator or Levineer, but we're going to go into the Chaos Creator because this is more useful. After that, we're going to Special Summon out our friend Black Dragon, and we're going to go into our Striker Dragon. Afterwards, we're going to use the Black Dragon effect to grab our White Dragon. This is just normal stuff that you'll find in normal combos. So that's definitely one thing to think about. Then we're going to use the Chaos Base to grab an e -Telly that came up at the perfect time. So we're going to activate the e -Telly, use its effect, summoning out a Psy Reflector from our deck. 
Star Reflector is going to trigger, grabbing us a Assault Beast, and afterwards we're going to use the Assault Beast to get the Assault Mode activate. This engine is just a lot of one-for-ones, and in honesty, it's pretty nice because it gets you places that you thought were pretty much not able to be reached. So we're going to increase it up to 7. Then we can either do one of two things. We can do a health combo, or we can go to the Chaos Ruler. But since we have a good hand set up, we're going to use the effect of Chaos Ruler. And we're going to see what we can get off the top. And we're going to get a Thunder Dragon Dark or a Matrix. And I'd rather grab the Thunder Dragon Matrix to our hand since we can banish that Thunder Dragon Dark for later. Next up, we're going to go up into our friend, the Heretic Seal. Use the effect of Wyvern Burster from our graveyard to grab back a Thunder a the Clap Serpent. Now, after that, this is where it gets weird. We're going to special summon the Chaos Creator, banishing Thunder Dragon Roar, and sadly, we got rid of a Nibiru, but that's absolutely fine. Since we can just banish either of these, and it really doesn't matter, but I would rather just banish Thunder Dragon for some sake. Now, we get the Thunder Dragon Roar effect, and we get a special summon out anything and i'm gonna summon out the thunder dragon dark then afterwards we can go up into an appalosa because we can extend which this is why i love the side reflector it provides a dark in the graveyard for all of this we're gonna appalosa up for four and we're gonna get dragon dark's effect to grab something like a thunder dragon hawk or we could just grab Thunder Dragon Fusion right now, but I don't feel like grabbing a Thunder Dragon Fusion because we can go into a Verte to get our Thunder Dragon Fusion into the graveyard easily. So we're just going to grab the Hawk, which is quite nice. And we have some effects like Chaos Dragon, the Chaos Ruler. And this is where the other copy or cop any copy of your Darks and Lights can just get banished and we can just summon it back out. And we get a Chaos Valkyrie's effect, which we're probably just going to send something useless, like a brick out of our deck, which is insane. Using Thunder Dragon Hawk, we could summon back something like a Thunder Dragon Roar. And then we can just use our lovely friends right here. Use the effect of Verte after checking if we have anything, which we don't. We still have a normal summon, which is in insane. So if you really want, let's just double check on our matrixes. We have a total of two. We can normal summon this, and if we had the link marker, we would have gone into something like a like a link Kribo, but sadly we didn't. And since I wasted the Thunder Dragon matrix, that isn't on my fault, but it's absolutely okay that things like this happen. So we're just going to put back a the Matrix, put back the Thunder Dragon, and let's put back the One Hawk so we can summon out a Titan. And that is pretty much how the board ends. So just imagine if I have a Matrix, so you have one interruption with the Titan, you have a Bounce with Heretic Seal, and four Negates with the Appaloosa. And let's just do another quick test hand and just to show you how powerful this combo is. So overall, how do I like this build? I absolutely love it because it, innov it innovates on what the deck actually is. As it can do so much so that you can just out-tempo your opponent if you really want. Especially with this free Chaos Ruler, you just have a easy Foolish Burial, which is amazing, it's nice. It's always great to have because you can get your things like your darks, your roars, all of those in graveyard. And you could even have stuff like this where you could just get a Chaos Levineer or another Black Dragon, which I think we're going to have to use. Which is sad, but it's actually okay since we could just banish the Chaos Levineer, special summon out a White Dragon. We don't get the search with the White Dragon, but we get an extra extender here and there. And then we get the chaos space to add it. And sometimes you do brick, sometimes you don't.
So we're just going to be banishing a light and a dark, summoning out Chaos Ruler, and this is where Chaos Ruler gets broken, because we could just select these three, and we get to pick one. Either of these are tuners, so that's completely fine with me. Putting those back to the deck, and we could go up into a four material Appaloosa if we want, or a three material Appaloosa if need be. So we could go something up to here, use the effect of Black Dragon, getting our White Dragon, and then let's go into something like a Halk because we could just Halk up, use the effect, and this gets another brick out of our deck so we can get rid of a Psy Reflector. Then we can use the effect of our Chaos Ruler, banishing something like a Valkyrie, or we can banish something like a Striker Dragon to summon it out again. Use the effect of Valkyrie to just get a random Thunder Dragon in the graveyard, which is absolutely fine in my opinion. Then we could just use these four for an Appalosa, and the board is pretty much the same, which is quite nice. We still have four cards in hand. We have a bounce and four negates for monsters. This is typical board today, and it this is a great deck to highlight the Psy Reflectors because of what it does. And with Etel, you have four targets that you could summon off of it. So if you already exhausted a Psy Reflector and you didn't draw into your Gammas, you could just use a Gamma. But anyways, this was the showcase of my friend's Thunder Dragon deck in this how-to video, which is kind of ironic. But honestly, with what he did, 100% amazing build. But anyways, see you guys in the next video.